Alessia, Alessia Otisis's Guide to Shadenhall. R.K., bless my body and soul. My name is Alessia Otis, and I'd like to tell you all about Shadenhall. My fir the first impression of the visitor to Shadenhall is of broad green parklands, graceful willows along the banks of the Corbolo, neatly groomed gardens, and flowering shrubs. Shadenhall looks prosperous with clean, well-trimmed houses and neat stonework ornamented with striking designs in glass, metal, and wood. But what lurks beneath this pleasing appearance? Crime, scandal, corruption. Shadenhall is divided into three districts. To the north, on a hill, is the courtyard and inner keep of Castle Shadenhall. A road runs east-west below the castle, from east gate to west gate. The Corbolo River runs roughly north-south from this road, dividing southern Shadenhall into two districts, Chapel in the east and Market in the west. In Market District lie all the shops, inns, and guild halls. In Chapel District are the chapel itself and Shadenhall's residences. Bridges span the Corbolo in north and south, with the, southern, with the south bridges connected upon a pretty little island park in the middle of the river. Though Shadenhall lies in Nibenian East, its culture is shaped by the dark elf immigrants who emigrated here in the past half-century from Morrowind. Many of these immigrants were fleeing Morrowind's rigid society and heathen temple theocracy. In Cyrodiil, they hoped to find the stimulating commercial atmosphere inspired by Xenathar's patronage. One of these immigrants is now Count Shadenhall. Andel Indaris was of House Halalu in Morrowind, but he came to Shadenhall searching for greater opportunity. His sudden rise into the highest ranks of Cyrodiilic nobility is hard to explain, and most old families of Cyrodiil rightly regard him as a presumptuous upstart. However, the discovery of the Count's wife, Lady Lathasa Indaris, badly battered and dead at the foot of the county hall stairs, immediately attracted scandal, and the rumor and the rumors and rumors of the Count's dissipation, rages and infidelities suggest a darker mystery behind her death. The chapel of Arclay in Shadenhall is poorly attended. The Count sets a poor example. He never sets foot inside the chapel, but perhaps it is from fear of divine judgment that he avoids placing himself under the eyes of the Nine. Shadenhall's primate, priest, and healer are goodly people, and staunch professors of the faith, but the most honored and respected of the chapel's clerics is Arendil, the living saint of Arclay, a tireless crusader against the wicked practice of necromatic sorcery in the Mages' Guild and the Imperial Battle College. Both of Shadenhall's inns appear respectable from the outside, but the Newlands Inn is owned by a wicked, profane dark elf ruffian, and the Shadenhall Bridge Inn is owned by a dignified, devout imperial matron, so I am sure you know which place will serve you good, reasonable food, and which will provide you with a safe, clean bed where you are unlike, unlikely to be murdered for your purse. The owner-proprietor of Shadenhall's bookstore is Muchna, an Argonian, and a ruder and more disagreement cre and a ruder, more disagreeable creature I have never met. Nonetheless, his selection of books is excellent, and his price is his prices reasonable. The poorest of Shadenhall's residences are bright and clean, with well-groomed grounds, and the citizens think it no inconvenience when you step in to admire their furniture and appointments, provided you do this at a decent hour. However, be warned, many of these residents seem respectable to all appearances, but no sooner do they open their mouths than they reveal themselves to be evil brutes, shocking and rude, and more likely to murder you and bury you in their basements as to speak a civil word to you. That many of these rough, unpleasant people are orcs should be no surprise to you. However, you will not wish to miss the house of Shadenhall's most notable citizen, the celebrated painter Reith Linthandes. He is often hard at work in his studio and not to be disturbed, but his wife is gracious and hospitable and may be persuaded to show you those of his paintings which hang on his own walls. Follow the Nine to Glory. <laughs>